Welcome to Boost AI Search and Discovery Tutorial Video Series. In this video, we'll show you how to customize the Product Item section using Visual Design Editor. Product Item settings are the combination of all the elements that shape your product grids. From the Apps Admin, go to Theme, find the theme you want to set up, and select Edit Visual Design. First, customize the layout for your product item. Click the Layout Library button. In the drop-down of Main Layout, select your preferred layout. Based on the main layout you choose, the corresponding sub-layouts will be provided. Select the one that matches your theme style. Besides our pre-designed product item designs from the available layout library, you can also personalize the display of product images and product information on your own. Click Change Layout. With Boost's unsupported themes, after you set up the theme, the layout library will pop up, so you can choose your favorite layout. With Boost supported themes, after you set up the theme, your product item layout will be automatically designed to match your theme, so you don't need to open the layout library, and you'll see no pop-up. If you want other layout designs, open the layout library as usual. Now, you'll have a new option called Match with your current theme, which brings your layout design back as it matches your theme. On the left panel, click Product Item. You'll see the detailed settings for design on the right. With the border layout, you have four options. No border. Border no padding. Border no padding image. Border has padding. Select your preferred design. Then, change the background color, background color when hover, border color, and border color when hover to your liking. Now let's customize the product image. Select product image under the product item section in the left panel. On the right panel, Select the image size you want in the drop-down of Product Image Aspect Ratio. Then, select the image cropping position to optimize the image display. Choose Hover Effect if you want your shoppers to have a more interactive experience with the product image when hovering over it. In our app, the Product Image section includes three areas, Top Area, Middle Area, and Bottom Area. To customize the display of elements in the product image, select the area you want. On the right panel, you can modify the arrangements of the elements as vertical or horizontal. For each area, you can add up to three elements at a time to ensure the visual pleasing design principle. Under the heading of the target area, click on the Add Element button and pick up your preferred elements. Now we'll show you how to customize each element. When you enable the sale label, the products on sale will be labeled to capture buyer's attention. Click the sale label on the left panel, then customize the label alignment and shape. You can choose to display it as text or image. If you choose text, enter the sale text. You can decide to show the numerical money value or percentage value. For example, sale 20% off. Then, select the color you like. The sold out label will mark the out of stock products. If you tick hide other labels when sold out, all other labels that you are enabling on the product will be automatically hidden as soon as it's sold out. Customize the settings similarly to the sale label. Next, let's go to custom label by tag. Before we go on, you need to create a custom label by tag first. To enable this label, you must ensure that the target products are tagged with the syntax like this. Then, you can customize the label alignment, label shape, background and text color of all product labels as usual. Product Item Swatch allows you to display available product variants on your storefront. Your customer will have the option to choose among various product variants, and narrow down to the right product effectively. Our app allows you to create up to three swatches on each page, based on product attributes and tags from your Shopify store. Click Add Element in the targeted area, and click Swatch Item 1, 2, or 3. Then, head to the detailed settings in the right panel. If you tick Show Option Value when hovering, your customers will see the swatch's value when they hover a swatch thumbnail. Next, select Swatch Type. Swatch Type allows you to decide which product attributes you'd like to display for the swatch. With Swatch By, there are four options. Color is applied for products having the basic color, like blue, green, black. 
our app will automatically look up the exact HTML color names, and display those values on the storefront. Image is applied for products having special colors outside the HTML colors, like Gradient Abyss, Gradient Citrus, Cotton Candy. If you want to set up the swatch type as color and swatch by image, here's something you need to pay attention. In this case, our app automatically assigns custom image files in your Shopify library to appropriate product variants. If you don't upload your custom images, those color swatches will be displayed in blank swatches on the storefront. To integrate a color swatch with your own custom images, you need to prepare images that you want to upload first. We suggest that you save the image size as squares to preserve the aspect ratio of a pattern. Name your files after the formula, color name and lowercase linked by hyphens, with no special characters or space. Look at some of our examples here. The files should be formatted as PNG files. Then, from your Shopify admin, go to Content, and choose Files. Click Upload Files and upload all the images that you have prepared. You can see some examples of our files here. After that, you can go to our Visual Editor Design and Boost app, Choose color in the drop-down of swatch type and image in the drop-down of swatch by. The next swatch by option is variant image, which applies the image you set for your product variants in the Shopify store admin. And if you choose text, all values of the product options will be displayed in text. For example, you can use it for product size. Choose the button style you want. We have two styles like this. and choose the way your customers interact with the swatch icon to make the product variant images change. Finally, customize the swatch alignment and shape. Be noted that you cannot select swatch types that have already been chosen in other swatch elements. Drag and drop the element in the added section to the right position if you want, then click Save. Product rating element is provided by a third-party app integration. To show the product rating element on your site, Please enable a product review app by access in the integration tool. Then you can customize the alignment of product rating. To increase the conversion rate, you can place call to action buttons on the page. Click button 1 or button 2 on the left panel. In the overall settings, choose the button types. You have three types of buttons to choose from. The first type is select options, add to cart button. Your shoppers can click on this button to add the desired product to the shopping cart. With this button type, you need to modify select options own click to set up your page display once the customer clicked on the button. If you choose pop-up, a product details window will show up when your customers click on the desired product. They can choose whether to add products to their cart or to proceed to the product page or the checkout page. If you choose show quick add to cart, your customers can add product variants to their cart without having to go to the product page. If you choose Go to Product Page, your customers will be led to the product page when they click on this button. After choosing the button type, you can determine where this button is shown, on desktop only, or on both desktop and mobile. If you tick Show button when hovering, this button will be hidden and only appear when the product image is hovered. Feel free to customize the button display as text with icon, text only, or icon only, and button shape. Insert the button text or image for the icon, depending on the button display you've chosen. And modify the button dimension, alignment, and styling. That's the first type of button. The second type is Quick View, which shows a quick and clearer view of the product image without having to access the product page. And the last type is View Product, which redirects your customers to the product page when clicked. Then, customize the button styling as usual. Be noted that the button content may not be fully shown if you set the width of the button improperly. Check out how these buttons look on the preview so you can choose the right button width. Click Save to finish the settings. Now we've come to the Product Information section. To customize the display of the product information, click Product Information under the Product Item header on the left panel. On the right panel, choose the alignment of the elements to your liking. Our app allows you to add up to 10 elements to the Product Information section. Click the Add Element button and pick up your preferred elements. 
Let's get into each element. With product title and product vendor, you can customize the color, font, and text transform to match your theme style. Next is the price settings. If you enable Show Sense as Superscript, the price will look like this. Enable Show Currency Codes if you want to display the currency code next to your product price. If the product has a different price for each of its variants, you can use Display Multivariant Price Settings to display its price range. We offer two options to display it. Customize the styling of the price, sale price, and compare it price to your liking. If you tick Show Savings Display, the saved values from products on sale will be displayed to capture buyer's attention. You can decide to display the value as a numerical or percentage amount. If you want to present low inventory alert message for your customers, turn on inventory status. Slide the threshold to automatically show the low stock messages when the stock reaches the inventory limit. Insert in stock text, low stock text, and sold out text. In stock text is the message shown when the product is still in stock. Low stock text is the message shown with the number of stock left when the product is in low stock. Sold out text is the message shown when the product is out of stock. Then, customize the text styling to your liking. With swatch items, call to action buttons, and product rating, do similarly to what we've just instructed you before. Please be noted that to eliminate duplication, the elements added to another section, such as the product image, will not be able to add to the product information section at the same time. Drag and drop elements within their section to customize their order if you want. And click save. Thank you for watching. Reach us at support at Boost Commerce. Net if you need any further assistance. If you want to learn more about Boost AI search and discovery, please subscribe to Boost Commerce channel.